Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to our YouTube channel. As you can probably tell by the title of this video, Lola unfortunately did have to go to the vet. I was doing their weekly health check and I found what looked to be fungus on her ear and immediately I scheduled an appointment at the vets as soon as I could get her in. Originally, they said the soonest they could get me in was September 7th, which was not soon enough. So I waited a day and then the next day I called them again and luckily somebody had canceled their appointment. So I was able to get Lola in the next day, which was amazing. They did scrape Lola's ear down and they did put a special cream on it and they explained everything that was going on with her. Lola does have a fungus that is contagious to other guinea pigs and humans. So as you can tell, she is separate from Buttercup and Noel. She has to be separate from them for two weeks. Lola is doing very good. She seems to be getting better. Her ear is looking amazing. I do have to do a special routine twice a day with Lola to help her ear get back to normal. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert some of the clips of me caring for her ear now. To care for Lola's ear, I do have to put down a bed and put on rubber gloves, and then I have to wipe down her ear with a shampoo and water. After I've done that, I then have to take the cream and apply it to her ear. After I've done that, I then just put her back into her separate enclosure. Lola does have to have this done twice a day, once in the morning and once at night, and I have to continue this treatment for 14 days. What happened with Lola is a great example of why you should have a vet fund on hand at all times. I do have a vet fund of $200 for my pets at all times, just in case of emergency, in case they get sick. Luckily, I did have more than $200 on hand for Lola's appointment, and her appointment was actually $100. So that is just a little bit of a look on how expensive vet appointments can be. Lola's appointment wasn't even super expensive. It was actually on the cheaper side. Unfortunately, I do not know the cause of where the fungus came from, but I do know that I do need to continue treating Lola, and I really hope she will get better as soon as possible. I did check the other girls for any fungus and Buttercup and Noel luckily do not have any fungus and they are both doing very well. You never know when your pet could get sick or hurt. That is why it is extremely important to have a vet fund on hand at all times. I suggest having a vet fund of $200 or more because surgery can be very expensive if needed. Your parents aren't always going to want to pay for your pet's appointment, so you should take it upon yourself to pay for your pet's appointment by yourself. Before getting a pet, I suggest having a vet fund ready because you never know when they can get sick once again. That is gonna be it for today's video. Those are all the updates I have for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed or learned something new. Thank you all so much for watching and we will see you in our next video.